This is Ruth. Ruth loves nothing more than deep sea diving to look at fish. But today, Ruth is about to make an interesting and dangerous discovery about how sound travels. Ruth can hear a troubling noise, but as she hears it, she realizes that she can't tell what direction it's coming from. Did you know that it's very hard to tell where a sound is coming from when you're underwater? This is Joe and Paul. Joe is yelling, and Paul immediately knows just where she is. If your friend calls your name in the playground, you can tell just where they are, can't you? So, what's the difference between Ruth and Paul's situations? To understand that, we need to look a little bit at what sound is and how it travels. Sound is the vibration of particles in whatever substance it's travelling through. When a source of sound vibrates, it first pushes particles in the medium together. Each particle moves backwards and forwards only a tiny distance, but it's enough to cause interactions with neighbouring particles. This process creates areas where there are many particles pushed close together, compressions, and areas where they are further apart, rarefactions. The areas of compression and rarefaction then travel away from the source as a wave. So how does this process change when we're looking at different mediums? We know that the particles in the solids are bound tightly together, and those in a liquid are less tightly bound, and those in a gas are not bound at all. Any sound travelling through a solid is passed from one particle to another extremely quickly because of the very small distance between them. So sound travels fastest in solids. In a liquid, because the particles are more separated, it takes longer for each particle to interact with its neighbours, so sound travels more slowly in liquids. In a gas, the separation between the particles is greater still, so sound travels the slowest in a gas. So, can we explain Ruth's predicament yet? How do we know what direction a sound comes from? In the playground, because the sound travels more slowly, Paul's brain is fast enough to process the delay between Joe's shout arriving at his left ear and his right ear, and can use that to work out the direction the sound has come from. Underwater, sound travels four times faster than in air, so arrives at Ruth's ears almost simultaneously. The delay is too short for her brain to process. Ruth has no idea where the sound is coming from. Something tells me she'll find out soon enough.